How's it going everybody? Welcome back to another video here on chemotherapy. Tonight I'm going to be updating my chandelier because it looks like this. The something that looks like this. Ooh. I always keep one of these power tester tools around. This is the one by Klein Tools. Basically the way it works, you turn it on. And it's green when there is no power, but when there is power, it beeps red like that. So I got one of these. It's always good to turn off the power at the breaker box. Let's do that and test the wires. Okay, so I'm out here at my breaker box now and you can see here that lights. So I'll turn these off and we'll go check for power. That should be it. If you're in an apartment, yours might be inside your apartment. Okay, got the green tester light here. I'm gonna just rub the ground wire. Nothing should be coming out of there. Here's the white wire, test that out, nothing, nothing there. That's good. And then here is the last wire. All right, so we're all set to go here. There's no power coming out anywhere. Uh, the bracket is gonna attach right here and right here, and then we should be able to mount the chandelier, and it's that easy. The only tricky part is measuring how long the chain and the wires are gonna be, but I'm just gonna copy the length on the old chandelier. Let's do it. All right, now that we've tested that the power is off and we turned off the power at the breaker box, you can now take the chandelier down. And most of them are held in with a screw like this. So this is the plate that's attached to the ceiling like that. This portion here is attached with this at the top like that. So that's attached to the ceiling. And that basically just screws into this portion here. And then you'll have just two wires. You'll have this kind of looks like speaker wire here. And then you'll have the ground here. Just those three wires because you're going to have to separate that. That has two halves. But when that's done, time to hang the new chandelier. Here's a closer look at the clear wire that's on the chandelier. One of these is going to attach to the black wire coming out of your junction box and one to the white. Doesn't matter really what order you put it in. But what you're going to do is, let's pretend that this is the white wire. This is a harness for my fire alarm. But I'm just going to get it together like this. I'm just going to twist it together. And then uh, once that connection is twisted together like that, it's going to look nicer than that. You're going to use this twist connector to put right on top and twist it together. There's a little metal thing on the inside that'll twist it together. And then once that's done, I use a piece of electrical tape to just to tape it all together. Okay, last step before getting it up on the ceiling is running these wires up around the chain length and right up through the canopy uh, point right through here. And then you're gonna pull it taut. Uh, and that's when you're gonna connect your wires. I'll use these two holes to bolt it up to the ceiling and that'll be done. Now they do have special pliers to open up the chain link, but really any pair of pliers will do. All you got to do is force it in here and then you just want to separate this big enough so you can unclick it from that. Or you can get a pair of screwdrivers, Phillips flathead or, or whatever. And then get them kind of working against each other like this. Just twist it and then open it just wide enough so you can open it. And then if you want to twist it back, you would just twist it the opposite way. But yeah, a little bit of physics, oh yeah. Time to install the bracket that the chandelier is gonna hang from, just like that. When you're tightening these screws in, make sure you don't go too hard because these junction boxes are made out of plastic. Well, at least this one is, and you don't wanna strip it. And then it just creates a whole different level of project that I don't wanna get into. All right, time to go up. I got the connections made, just gonna put some electric tape around it. I don't know if I wasn't reading the mounting directions correctly, but check out this heads up problem I ran into. Hey, just a quick heads up. So here is the mounting bracket that's gonna mount to the junction box. Now, if you're using a center nipple like this, you're probably gonna have something that screws the canopy up to the ceiling that's flush. If you're using these two screws, you gotta be careful because they were a little bit too long. So the canopy was way up here and these screws stuck way down here. So when I screwed it in, there was a big uh, portion of screw sticking out so I just ended up cutting them I couldn't find screws at Home Depot to fit properly so be prepared for that if you're using these and now the moment of truth I hope this holds bulbs 
Sits here, I can go 60. So I'll see how bright this is, but I think I want to max it out and go for 60. And guys, I forgot to mention, while you have the chandelier up on the ladder or whatever else you have it up on, it's a great idea to test it before you put everything together because if you put it together, you flip the switch and it doesn't work, you gotta take everything down. But I did test it. Let's have a look at it. All right, guys, that's the ending of this video. Thank you for tuning in. If you liked it, please give me the thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to Chemotherapy, please do remember to click that little bell on the side so you can get notifications to when I post a new video. And remember, I'll catch you guys later. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. You'll never have the sacred stone.